It's your weekly real estate market update report. Um, what I do is I do a summary of activity from the past week and give you a quick summary of that. So what I'm pulling up here now is single family home market data. We had about them on the market. Um, most of them were around the range of 700 to 799 in price. Um, we did have two price changes, uh, basically totaling 21,500 in price drop. And for under agreements, we've had six homes go under agreement. Uh, most of them were on the market for about eight days and um, their total average price is about 959.5. Um, in terms of sales, we saw a lot of activity. There were 11 single family homes that sold. They were on the, ma uh, on the market again an average about eight days, six days until they received an offer. Really interesting here, the average is about 14% above asking. Now, the biggest um, incremental price where it was above asking is a 1 million to basically 1.5 million, and that was about 22% above asking. And um, But that was about five homes. And the lowest price was 531. The highest was 2 million 25. So there's definitely pockets of availability, even though the average price numbers are um, much higher and in terms of expires we didn't have anything expire in arlington things tend to sell so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at uh, condominiums i'll just bring that data up for you we had about six condominiums come on the market um, during this past week the average price was about 553 with the lowest being 289 roughly and the highest being 775. Um, there was one price change. It was a condo in the 450 to 499 price range. And we had three go under agreement. Now the average days on market for those homes was 21 days. That's much higher than what you would expect. And I noticed of the three homes that went under agreement, one of them was on the market for 41 days. The other two were on 11. So I think probably a more realistic price point is that 11 number, as opposed to the 41 days, or the 21 days. Um, so in terms of sales, we've had seven homes sell. They were basically sold for the most part, 7% above asking, which is a lot easier to take than that other number. Um, and the total average price is about 897. 643. So what we have now are expired listings and we don't have any expires for condominiums. So what we'll do now is we're going to take a look at the multifamily homes. And I'll just bring that data up for you now. Um, much sparser information for multifamily homes in Arlington. You know, proportionally, it tends to be a smaller amount anyway. So we just had one home that came on the market last week, uh, listed for one million two seventy five. Uh, no price changes. Um, one home came under agreement. It was on the market for forty three days. I think that was priced between one point five and one point nine million. And for sales, we've had one home sell one multifamily home sell, and that was for 1,316,250. So that actually sold for below the list price, and it was on the market for about 38 days. Uh, no expired listings for multifamilies. Again, in Arlington, in this market, that's not unusual. So what I've seen over the past weekend is a number of of some of the listings that went on the market a lot of them had very tight viewing time frames and what i mean by that is say for example they became active on like a thursday or friday but some of the sellers weren't allowing showings until saturday in some cases maybe even sunday and said offers would be due monday at 12 or something um, that's really excessive in terms of 
time frame. Some buyers have said they would have liked more time. So I think ideally, if you're a seller, you know, give buyers a little more time to look at the property. I think that's always best. So if you put it on Thursday, for example, you know, start showings on a Friday, um, even if it means you go out to dinner for a couple of hours in the evening um, to allow showings to happen. I think it's just much more helpful for buyers, especially in a market that is kind of tough on buyers right now. So that's it. Take care. Make it a great day. Bye.